Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Action Comics 1064. This is the beginning of a whole new event in the Superman world, House of Brainiac. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. House of Brainiac Part 1 is written by Joshua Williamson with art by Rafa Sandoval. Colors by Alejandro Sanchez. Letters by Dave Sharp. Uh, this will be crossing over with the main Superman series. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. In this issue, Brainiac attacks. Brainiac's Lobo army invades Metropolis in an action packs oversized issue. The Super Family and all the heroes of Metropolis. Metropolis will join the fight. But will they be enough to hold off Brainiac's lethal and crazed soldiers? Can Superman and Lex... Learn what Brainiac is searching for. He's not bottling Metropolis, so what is he collecting instead? Uh, yeah, this has been... There's been seeds of this in the main Superman book, so if you haven't been reading that, uh, this will come to you as a surprise for sure. Uh, but, you know, there's a really fun dynamic here. Superman is... He's got the whole family there. He's getting support from Lex. You know, he he's running Super Core. So, overall... Things are pretty good now that he was able to put away the the Lex Luthor Revenge Squad, right? Uh, so Joshua Williamson has been doing a really fun job. It was a really nice break to get the Jason Aaron story right before this. Uh, but I'm glad we are back on it. Uh, I love Rafa Sandoval's art. I think he's doing some really fun stuff here. And also, Joshua Williamson is writing the story in a way that if you have been reading, you can just kind of jump on in, which is... Making comics accessible is one of the best things that I, I kind of look for uh, when I'm talking about comics and recommending them. So, you know, as long as you know who Superman and Brainiac are, you can probably just jump right in on this one. So let's take a look at some of the preview art so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, of course, you get a little bit of a summary. We'll go back to the previous page here. You know, you get a little bit of a summary here of what's been going on previously, which is some of the stuff I already talked about. Uh, and then we jump right in. And here we see Brainiac's ship. I love the how artists really take the time to redesign this ship because it's so ludicrous. It's such a wild thing to just see a, a skull flying around in space. Also, why would Brainiac design? Like, this cannot be the optimal design for a ship, right? Which is really, really interesting. Uh, and then we catch up with Lois Lane. Her first day off in years. Leave her alone. Uh, setting up the playlist uh, that Pete Ross made for her, which is really nice. Uh, also probably kind of old, maybe. Uh, and then Joshua Williamson does a really fun thing to help you get caught up on this, right? He's got a few extra pages, uh, so we can use those for exposition, a little bit of world building. And here we see as Lois is going on a run, uh, she meets up with everyone. We, we kind of get to see, we see the twins, we see Connor, we see Kong, uh, we see Kara Sorel, Lana Lang, Natasha Irons, John Henry. Perry White, Ron Troop, like we just kind of, if you haven't been keeping up, here's a little, you know, flash, like just a little bit of what's going on in a quick flash while Lois gets in the run. Uh, so I think this is very, very good, as I mentioned, for new readers. Uh, also, if you, it's hard to keep track of everything that's going on in the DC universe sometimes. So stuff like this really helps to help you know what are the parties that are about to be involved. Uh, but from there, the story really kicks into the next gear. Uh, and you get really cool Superman shenanigans, uh, an army of Lobos. So if you're aware, Lobo is uh, his his race. They're called the Sarsians. Uh, and he's supposed to be the last of their kind. So how did Brainiac get a hold of a full army? All that stuff, you'll read it here. It's a lot of fun. Also finding out what Brainiac is actually collecting. Uh, really fun stuff. I, I'm loving this series at the moment. Uh, it's been so much fun. Really since uh, uh, really since the previous team left, like they really ended up in a high, and I don't think we've, we've kind of come back down from that. So hopefully the quality maintains. Uh, I'll be doing reviews for Action Comics as long as I think that they're fun and entertaining. Uh, so if you have read this, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.